In this video, I'm going to be taking you inside my head and showing you why I do exactly what I do in a live Mutt Weekend League matchup. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best man player that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. All right, guys, so as we can see here, starting out, almost got an interception right off the rip here. I'm running my nickel 335 wide uh, defensive guide. If you want to get my entire nickel 335 wide defensive guide, the complete defense that I run in Weekend League, you can get that in the description uh, of this video. Real quick, real quick, right off the bat here, as you can see, you know, just kind of a, a little bit of a simple read here from him. Uh, we're going to be running some cover four quarters, some, some Mike Blitz three, some different things. Uh, just kind of changing it up a little bit defensively based off of his tendencies. So uh, right here, a little motion out slant. Looks like he's got the Taysom Hill golden ticket quarterback card. Um, so probably going to see some escape artists, some different things like that. So I've got to be prepared for that. But we're just going to kind of stay, you know, rather simple um, right off the rip here um, and just kind of keep, keep everything in front of us. I like to run uh, cover two on this, on this left side here. And a little drag, and I was hoping I could jar that loose with the hit stick, but wasn't able to do that. It's going to bring up a third down and one. So since he's running the U trips uh, a little bit, it looks like he's probably going to be in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. So it's one of the probably the top five playbooks in the game. It's it's actually the um, the same playbook that I'm going to be in throughout the course of this game as well. So um, just got to be kind of aware of that. Right here, he's going to go to the single back doubles. I know they got a power O. Looks like he audible to um, like Y trips week, so it could be a stretch here. A uh, little dive run, we're able to shoot the gap, and I think he's going to actually end up still get a first down. I'm trying to think right now off the top of my head just kind of how I want to play. He's running kind of a, a plethora of different formations. So whenever someone's doing that, I like to just simply sit in a Mabel coverage uh, and just force them to have to just have to work a little bit. You know, just kind of force them to take their check down, go underneath. Uh, looks like he's going right up top and going to throw the needle with a cover three bomb. Uh, not sure not sure about that i guess it's a good read um so i'm gonna have to start figuring something out because i feel like i can't cover three bomb like anybody but for whatever reason people can cover three bomb me out of the wazoo so there's probably gonna be something that i'm doing uh that's wrong on my defense and i'm not quite sure what it is just yet but that's um you know easy seven for him so way to go good job buddy and uh we've got to get better we've got to play better on the defensive side of the ball so more than likely what we're going to actually do is we're going to probably play um some cover three cloud i think going into the second um or, or second possession if we get back on defense here um more than likely we're going to play some some cover three cloud just to kind of take care of some of the little things that i think he's doing to glitch us out a little bit over the top of that post route Okay, so um, back to offense. I'm running trips tied in on offense. So if you want to get my trips tied in offense, it's going to be linked down in the description of this video. Um, really, really fun offense. If you can kind of be patient with it, I think it's the best offense in the game. Um, it does take a little bit of getting used to, a little bit of patience. Uh, right there, not quite sure that that should have played that. I guess that's a good play by him. Uh, he's making some really interesting play calls. And having a lot of success where I don't really feel like he should be having success. So uh, we've got to just kind of fight through that a little bit. Sometimes Madden will do that. And we've just got to continue to play our game a little bit. So we get balled halftime, uh, which is good. I think he's in the nickel 335 normal formation, which I really like this 45 quick base with the double team of the nose tackle. I find that double team of the nose tackle will actually help this run significantly. If you're ever running this this offense and you are trying to run the ball i highly highly recommend uh just double uh doing a quick adjustment with your defense or your offensive line and just making them block or like double teaming the nose tackle and then id in like the middle linebacker if you can do those two things uh you're gonna find a lot of success running the ball as you can see right here just kind of like i don't know why but it just works a lot better when you do that i don't know if it's because we you know do what we primarily need to do with that double team or, or what but we're gonna try to just be balanced um i feel like i've kind of beat myself a couple of games and so anytime you're trying to kind of get back on track you see now he's going to go down to the three through five wide try to shoot some gaps um so we're going to just id uh his user and then we're just going to shift down right onto the center here 
Make sure we hit that block. And we're just going to keep kind of moving forward. Again, we get ball at halftime. Okay, so we've got, you know, a lot of, we've, we've got plenty of time to get back into this ball game. We just need to go down and kind of do our job, put a drive together. Ideally, we'd score um, with just a little bit of time maybe left on the clock. Ideally, with no time, but um, we're going to try to leave him as little time as possible. And so if we're, we're, we're able to rock this this quick base on him, then, you know, that's, that's, that's all the more the reason to do that. So you'll see right here. Now, you see how Ted, that guy did that movement there on the left? That tells you that that's his user, I think. Oh, I guess not. I thought that that told you, or that would, that's like a clear tell that that's his user. But anyway, here, we're just going to take to the quarter. Um, whenever you're trying to, I think whenever you're just trying to be more effective on an offensive level, it's really important to understand the clock management aspect of that. Um, and really important to understand, you know, situational football, I think. It does affect your play calling. Um, his, what, what's going to tend to happen is once you've started to establish certain things, um, it's gonna it's gonna lead to your opponent being a little bit more over aggressive. So like right here, I actually make a little bit of a mistake. I should have, um, and I might even just call a timeout. I think I probably will, unless he gives us a really good look. I think he's in big nickel over G. Um, we're just gonna go with this RPO bubble. So you see that he's in big nickel over G, but if you notice the slot corners on the right, there's no one on the left side that can catch uh, Brandon Ayuk if we just flip this out here quick easy read and then just get a first down and keep the chains moving we're just going to go down one of the things i forget to do i almost always forget this but i would recommend unless you're in a situation or you really have a good reason for not putting your ball carrier on conservative at this point in the season i would recommend it because everybody has 99 hip power everybody has 99 hip power so um you're gonna you know it's just risky to to not do that you don't want to like ever give up a possession so here, we're just gonna kind of see if he's figured out a run defense for this yet. Just kind of still powering the quick base. Uh, and really honestly, just trying to kind of see like what his plan is to stop it. Now you've noticed that it's shifted him. It's caused him to shift defenses to the big nickel over G. One of the things about big nickel over G is that big nickel over G is not the easiest defense in the world to play a Mabel coverage from. It's not the most natural defense to play a Mabel coverage from. So I think we're going to just run a simple little concept here uh, that a Mabel coverage might do okay against, but we're just going to try to take what the defense gives us. Little hitches. These little quick reads right here, I find them so valuable. Um, now, again, if he comes out in big nickel over G, again, we're in that third down situation uh, like we were last time. We've got about two minutes left, so we're actually doing okay on this drive. We're kind of doing what we wanted to do. I mean, we're, we're ball control. We're being consistent. We're not putting the ball in harm's way necessarily. Um, but right here, if he's in that same defense as you see he is, um, then this is a nice little opportunity to try to hit this bubble screen. I don't think this hard flat will get out on it. Yep. And we're, there we go. Able to get that bubble screen and able to continue to move the chains. Now, this is where you kind of have a decision. Whenever you're driving like this on someone, like as well as we're doing, um, you kind of have a couple of decisions to make. We're going to take this to the two-minute warning. You got the ball on the 31-yard line. Again, the closer you get to the end zone, whenever you're going on a little bit more of a methodical drive, you have to be mindful of the lack of space that you start to have to run certain types of routes, right? Whether it be a crossing route or corner route or something like that. You have to kind of be mindful of that. And so uh, as we head into this red zone opportunity, we're going to be very mindful of that. So as you see here, um, he shifts back to the 3-3-5 wide. I don't think the 3-3-5 wide can really stop this um, consistently. So we're going to hit hit base again just to see, keep that clock moving. And he is going to get a good stop there for him. That's going to be, that's actually a really big deal. Um, and so this is where you can kind of, this is where I talk about like these situational management kind of things to think about. So I'm going to go to a very simple little setup out of the PA counter go that I talked about uh, in a YouTube video. It's also in the def or the offensive guide if you want to get it. Um, but you notice here that he's base aligning on the left side. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to just take advantage of that. And we're going to just throw a nice little low ball on that angle route. And he actually ended up being in, I think, in Mike Blitz 3 right there. Or SS Blitz 3 on that coverage. Um, so good good, good call by him. And, I, and we ended up making a, a nice reaction. But anyways, the play that we want to go to is this PA counter go play. And what we're going to do is just kind of use kind of a natural little flood uh, to this left side here. And really just try to 
You see how it keeps this user over here? We're gonna try to release this guy and we're gonna throw a pick and, and that's really frustrating. That's that's really, really bad by me. I had the route open, but I couldn't get him to, to get out there, get the delay fade out there. I've been struggling a lot with that over the last couple of videos. Um, and we just end up throwing a pick on another bad read. So we're gonna have to adjust and, and sure enough, I mean, played probably the worst defense he's he could possibly play against this offense. Uh, and somehow came away with an interception. So the tight end delay fade was wide open right there. We just missed the read. But here you see the cover three cloud. I actually really do like this. And he's going to throw us up. I mean, throws it at two uh, defenders, and they can't catch the ball, unfortunately. So um, real quick, so ball is on the three-yard line, 37 seconds left. A couple things. Um, I don't tend to like to blitz. I really don't. Uh, I'm not necessarily someone that's going to blitz a lot. Uh, so I'm actually going to go to this setup right here and see. we got a spy out there in case he scrambles. Really watch him there. There's that spy. He throws right at our user again, just like he did on the very first play of the drive, and completes it again, even though it's right at a user defender who's literally holding ball hawk. So unfortunate, but it is what it is. I think this defense will actually give this guy some trouble just with the way he's playing. I mean, he's he's really not doing anything that crazy. There you see there's PA, PA deep outs again. This time we've got five players there and we can't get the interception um, for whatever reason. And that's why I talked about, uh, I actually think that pick artist might be like borderline a really, really necessary ability. Um, it's not necessarily an ability that you want to have to have, but at this point in the season, I just feel like I keep dropping interceptions, and those are possessions. Like those are, that's a big deal to drop a pick. Um, so anyway, right here looks like a little play action. Uh, looks like PA counter go, and he just streaked that guy over there. Uh, he's gonna throw to us again, and we're not gonna intercept it again. So he's thrown to us four out of the last four plays, and we've yet to be able to come up with an interception. We threw it at, at him once and uh, was instantly picked off. So that's looks like that's gonna be kind of how the game uh, is gonna go for us. But we have to fight through it. So we're gonna stick with this coverage right here. This, this coverage seems to be giving him some trouble. This kind of, um, it's, it's basically cover three cloud. It's basically what it is. He's gonna throw me a pick right there. Um, let's see, he's gonna let this delay fade. Throws it, throws it at me again. There's four white uniforms there and he's able to catch the ball. Um, once again, another example of absolute bullcrap, in my opinion, in terms of how this game is playing us right now. But uh, the, and the thing is, these are possessions. I mean, these are big deals. Like the fact that the fact that we dropped, I think, literally dropped uh, four interceptions and had opportunities for probably seven interceptions on that drive, and we weren't able to capitalize on any of them. Um, means that we're not going to get three points, we're not going to get seven points, and we're going to probably go into halftime uh, dead even. So that's just that's just kind of frustrating, uh, but it is what it is. You see how well the cover three is doing. Let's see if we can get that one. And Madden finally decides to give us a pick as soon as the, the, the half is over. Uh, right there, dang it, I was trying to do a little hezzy, and I end up turning a little bit too much to the right and kind of ruined my return. So we go into halftime down seven to nothing. I feel like we're definitely the better player and we have the better scheme, but somehow we're losing by seven points. I'm sure we've all been there. We've got to continue to fight. We've got to go down and execute here. No interceptions, no mistakes, just a mistake-free drive. Uh, we had a really, really good drive and we just made one mistake and that's how it goes. So uh, he, he somehow can make about 15 mistakes in two, two possessions and uh, it not have to affect him, but it is what it is. I guess it's because he's in MS at the top and that's that's what Madden does. They reward them, I guess, I don't know. But anyways, uh, okay, so I'm trying to think. Let's just run the PA counter go. I just don't think he can stop this consistently. He's got four or three defensive line abilities, so it looks like we're probably gonna, he's gonna have like Super Shed D, I guess, is his plan. As you can see, I have um, I have um, four offensive line abilities. I'm spending about eight AP, and as you can see, we're getting instant shedded every single time. So this is why I actually am, after this game, gonna be taking all of my abilities off of my offensive line. I'm starting to really not believe in offensive line abilities because even when you have an ability, you get shedded like crazy, so. 
Um, okay, we're actually gonna go with the curl flat. Looks like he's gonna potentially be a main man here. And we're kind of, like I said, just instant sheds and they're just winning and it is what it is. So our guy that has the ability that allows him to beat man-to-man -man coverage for whatever reason can't beat man-to-man -man coverage. And we end up getting uh, completely bagged for it as a result. Um, here, we're just going to wait on that running back route, not open. And now we're in a really, really bad position. Um, probably a bad play call by me. I, I shouldn't have just relied on curl flat. Um, if he shows man coverage again, we're going to run a different play that should um, that should be able to beat man in coverage. I'm just kind of shocked um, that he's able to do things like what he's doing and have any level of success in this game. But it is what it is. So we're going to use curl flat right here. We're actually going to go and eh, we're just going to go like this. And we're going to just take our curl. Hopefully we got our first down because... Madden likes to shame us half the time in this game. Um, okay, so we've got a first down. So the last five minutes of this ball game, we need to wipe away from our memory. We need to lock in, and we need to go get six because this is um, this has the makings of a very very bad deal if we can't go down and get six here. Okay, um, we're gonna go with this setup for that square receiver over the top if we can get him. Uh, we're just gonna launch it and see not able to catch it so good defense i guess i guess this is the best defense of all time when we base a line and have a misalignment that i haven't beat by three yards and we still can't get over the top of it um okay so he's showing man to man here we need to make him pay for it it, it, it really does appear like uh he wants to just run man coverage all game so let's see here a little too high we're just going to play make of the running back back and just take our couple yards. We probably had the the S post. Um, we're just not – we're not seeing the field very well. We're not clicking right now. Um, our routes are just not working like we normally have them work. Um, and this is going to be one of those games that we're just going to have to grind out a victory because Madden is deciding to be dumb. That's basically where we're at. So – um, probably going to run a cover three here, his favorite little play. He can't use her the running back route to save his life. And we're just going to take that curl flat read. Very simple. And you're going to see, I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit and just start quick snapping him because I just don't think he can, I just really don't think he can, um, he can, he can stop us. Uh, I just think he's gotten lucky to this point to be caught, to be, uh, to be honest. So right here, uh, we'll just see what he calls. Look at those sheds. Look at those sheds. That's crazy. Favre's got to get down. I don't know why. I was hitting slide about five minutes ago, and uh, Favre can't, uh, for whatever reason, slide. Uh, so I'm going to put RG3 in here. And whenever I put RG3 in, I'm pretty much guaranteed it's going to be a run of some sort. It might be a read option. It might be you know, something, right? So it uh, looks like he's going to go to this 3 through 5, uh, normal, cover 1, man coverage, and pray so we're gonna go to our quick base right here a little stop and go and just get a couple yards here and we'll see how Brett Favre is looking Brett Favre is looking pretty good so we're gonna bring him back in the game here and let's see what he does he shows man and then he audibles out this could be Tampa 2 but we're just gonna check down to the run here I just don't like the look And there we go. Easy run, easy first down. And you can see, I mean, he's just, he's truly not stopping the run. He's really not stopping anything we're doing. He's just kind of like, I mean, I guess these double or nothings or whatever he's got. Let me see if I can look at his uh, abilities real quick and just see. He's got speedster, unpredictable, inside stuff, inside stuff. Kind of the weirdest ability spread I've ever seen. So we'll see if we can't score here. Little quick read right up the seam. Nice hot dot from far. We saw the user come down on us. Here it's a quick snap. I mean, 100% quick snap. Quick, quick snap of the base run. Just trying to get in here. And Reggie Bush should have got in, but he didn't. Um, now, what I like to do in these situations, because of how good um, the, that bubble screen is, I really like to go to essentially put like a goal line personnel in. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out in the trips tight end. 
So I can still do all of my passing, my red zone passing, and my red zone running, but I can also um, still get down into goal line. So as you can see here, you know, Bo fighting for it, touchdown Cowboys, and finally we've been reconciled. Um, so what I like to do here is just kind of set up, um, as my controller is kind of wigging out, uh, I like to set up for the next possession. So you'll see I'm just going to go through and put, um, put my guys back in. Whoops, I put the wrong guy in. Brandon Ayuk there, Moss there, and Bush there. Because I got plenty of time while I'm just chilling here. And then we're going to uh, do our PAT. So 7-7, seven to seven, I feel like we could force a turnover. I just don't feel like his offense is that good. I feel like our defense has been in position to make so many plays, and we've just not had the opportunity to do so. Uh, for whatever reason, Madden, the Madden gods have just said no this game to us. So hopefully on this drive, 358 left to go. I just don't feel like he can go down and score. Maybe he's going to. He's going to shock the world. But uh, I think if we just play disciplined defense, we're going to be fine. So you see here, I'm just going to go right through and just make sure my zone drops are where I want them. Make sure all my personnel is good to go. And then as you can see here, uh, we're shifting and we are ready uh, to go. So what I like to do is this, again, this cover three clouds kind of giving him some trouble. And I don't know if he's going to run here. Um, but we'll see a little crosser we're gonna jump back down on the crosser he's gonna throw and that's exactly what I said uh, exactly what I said he's gonna do and I can't I'm having trouble getting control of my player there I was trying to trying to uh, do a little move to get to the outside but wasn't able to do that so that's exactly what I said was gonna happen I mean he's gonna throw us something and finally Madden let us uh, decided to let us catch the ball so here I'm gonna to go to one of my favorite little setups here. This four verticals with this little running back underneath route. I really, really like this because of that read right there up the seam. That really, really nice little dot against cover three. And now we're back on top by one possession. Game's completely turned around. That's why I talk about, you've gotta keep fighting through adversity. You've gotta keep focused. What is my role right now? And you've gotta focus on executing the task at hand. Really, really important tip. Um, something that I don't always do a good job of and something that I think a lot of Madden players, you'll notice this is why you can watch um, professional Madden players that know a lot about the game. One game, they'll beat the guy by like 15 to 20 points. And then the next game, they'll get beat by 15 to 20 points. It's, it's a lot of this mental understanding of like executing the little things right in front of you. It's really, really important. So... Anyways, uh, gun a slot offset for my opponent. That's his next feat. Um, and here you see, in this cover three clouds doing 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 a pretty good job. Um, I gotta watch out here. We're just gonna back the there. Gotta get there. Gotta get there. Gotta get there. And hey man, he almost got us. He almost got us. So we gotta be mindful of that. Um, we gotta be a little bit mindful of that for the next route. Uh, or the next play. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I didn't get my adjustment. I didn't get my adjustment off and he's gonna burn us. Gosh dang it, man. Oh, I didn't get my freaking safety put in a deep half. I wasn't paying attention. I ran cover three to the, he got my, my Mike Blitz three flipped, auto flipped to the wrong side. Bad defense by me, and I paid a massive price for it. And now he's right back in this game, and we need to go down and score a touchdown and win this ball game. This is insane that he's been able to hang around. But that was terrible defense. If you're, you have to know the ins and outs of your defensive scheme. And if you, if you're going to run a cover two, it doesn't make a lot of sense to run cover two to the wide side with a press. If you don't press the cover two then you can run it to either side. But if you press a cover two, you don't want to run that to the wide side. I did on that play, and I paid a massive penalty for that. And now we've got to uh, execute, focus on the task at hand, right? Read the defense, make reads, make dots. Um, this is a big drive. So I'm going to start simple uh, with curl flat, just nice spacing concept here, um, and really just trying to take what the defense gives us. Um, very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. I don't understand the purpose of running a spread offense if you can't throw a flat route when they don't play hard flats. Um, very frustrating right there with what happened. Uh, that should have been an easy 5 to 10 yards. 
but due to Madden being a little bit weird. And that's why with flat routes this year, it actually makes more sense to throw them late as opposed to early, uh, which is not conventional wisdom. But like right there, just throw it, rack catch it up, and then go get you know a couple yards. So really frustrated with with that right there. I felt like I made the right read and paid a penalty for it. So um, right here, what we're going to do, honestly, you know what? We're going to check down to the run. He's just not in a run defense. And if you just don't see him, if they're not in a run defense, you just got to run. You have to run. Um, and as you see here, we get in the open field and quick base is uh, all about that base, man. Good run. And that's the quick base. When you double team the nose tackle, I have found... When you double team the nose tackle, it is hard, hard, hard to stop that run from anything other than like a big nickel over G with a couple safeties in the box or something like that. So uh, good run. And now defense has to step up. No more mental mistakes on this next drive. We've got to play disciplined and we've got to keep everything in front of us and force him to have to work. We can't be giving up these one play touchdowns that he really hasn't earned it's just because we didn't get our setup in. So uh, you'll see me do a couple things differently with the auto flips uh, and stuff like that here. Um, okay, I've got to be mindful of this offense that he's running. Um, and I can't get my setup in again, so we could be in danger. Got that. And we're going to lurk that. There's, four, there's three people there, including my user. And we're still not able to come down with an interception. Um, very frustrating, but it is what it is. Okay, so what you're going to see is I'm going to shift to this. This is a lack. You notice that I'm not pressing on the outside. This is going to make the defense play a little bit differently. So you're going to see, uh, I think the defense will play a little bit more conservative. Um, right there, throws right back to my user once again. And we are finally able to, to get the ball back and hopefully close this ball game out. But when you don't press out of a coverage, um, did, my opinion actually plays a lot better if you don't press. If you can get without not pressing, obviously in 3-3-5 wide, one of the major reasons you press is because it does help a little bit with the run defense. So that's also something that's kind of a, a, a balance, a balancing act here. But you're going to see nothing but quick base and a field goal right here from me. I'm actually going to sub in uh, my goal line personnel after this play. And the reason why is because we just don't want to make mistakes, man. This guy's got Madden Angels in, in the outfield, and we just don't want to uh, continue to allow him to get away with bad, uh, just bad gameplay. So, anyways, we're going to come down in this RPO zone alert bubble. Now, you see that we've noticed that he's going to do that. So, what I like to do is just come down into the power O and just flip it, simply flip it. Uh, with Bo here and just kind of, you know, walk forward. Now, that was actually a really, really bad decision by me. Um, I snapped the ball before the two-minute warning. Very, very bad decision. Um, right here, we're actually going to throw this bubble. See how they can't – see how it's really hard for them to be able to stop it? Very simple, but very, very effective. Even if they have hard flats, even if they pass committed, even if they've done all the things they're supposed to do, it's still really, really hard uh, to consistently stop that that route. They're going to have to do a very specific adjustment that it's very unlikely that they're going to do that because um, it's going to leave them very vulnerable to other plays within the Trips Titan offense. So anyway, here, just a simple, I don't know what happened on my user. I had a walk-in touchdown right there and I just somehow my finger slipped on the controller and didn't do a good job so anyway right here we're going to go back to it back to base you see we're just simply double teaming here now the, the real trick is uh, if you hit circle and you go straight down onto the center uh, that also helps a little bit with the run blocking they normally have instant win animations uh, that they're going to get Madden is always in, in, in 2k is true of this too that they're games of the interim, the animation, so you have to understand how to actually get on the animation. Right here, uh, we're going to really watch this bubble. If they jump out at it, we're just going to hand the ball off. We're just going to hand the ball off here. And you see it's a traditional inside zone. He's got his tackling set to aggressive, so that's going to be an automatic first down for us. Really simple, but we're going to close this game out, hopefully with a W. Um, as long as he doesn't block a kick or anything, we should be good. But you'll see right here, uh, we're going straight ahead. I'm going to click on to Tomlinson here, try to really win this block. 
and just kind of powering forward with uh, with Bo Jackson. Now, one thing that you can do that will help your uh, your quick base out a little bit. I'm gonna talk a little bit about this run block. So you do the double team. You can do the ID right, but then what you want to do to kind of seal the back end. So you'll notice here that I, if if I motion Henry to the right, you're gonna see that not very many people move. But I'm just going to kind of seal this back end off so there's no possibility of getting back shot. And then it's going to force only play side run defense. As you can see, we're able to get the touchdown. Big run. Big win for us. Needed to get back on the right page. Did. Fought through adversity. Thanks for watching. If you want to get the exact offense and the exact defense that I ran in this video, you can get both of those down in the description.